With my computer and my computer only, ready this voice. All right, using my computer and my computer only, I'll create a lead and background vocal for this song. And I'll use Vocaloid 5 to do this. If you're not familiar with Vocaloid 5, this is a digital vocal instrument that allows you to create voices from scratch with your computer. I can essentially write in notes and lyrics and it'll all be played back as a digital vocalist. Oh, I love you. It's absolutely amazing. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely stick around for this video. Right now I'll show you how to create something with it. So I have the Vocaloid 5 editor open within my DAW. So you'll hear the music being played back through the DAW. And to get this started off quickly, I'll head into the media library and choose a preset phrase. This song sounds like a future bass, future house kind of genre, so I'll choose future bass and I'll drag in this one. If I need to change the key, I can transpose this easily, although this phrase is in the correct key already, so I don't need to change anything. Okay, this sounds like it'll work. All I need to do is change the placement of this phrase to a different beat. All right, I want to start this on the upbeat, so I'll change the grid to 1 8, and then I'll drag this over. That works for me, and I really like the sound of this phrase. It starts off with a little mm at the beginning, and it makes it sound a lot more realistic. Nice little touch. Thank you, Vocaloid team, for that one. Now, I'll add another one in here. This one's essentially the same, although the notes are different. Okay, so this is what I'll do now. And this is a very useful thing for anybody using a DAW. When you have the Vocaloid 5 editor opened as a plugin, I have this MIDI track containing the Vocaloid 5 editor in Live 10, and I'm routing the audio to a new audio track in Live 10. So I can use this to record the audio from the Vocaloid 5 editor. I can now delete the Vocaloid 5 editor track and slice up the audio of the Vocaloid 5 recording any way I'd like to fit the song even cleaner. It's really as simple as that. And I can repeat the same thing to add background vocals as well. So on this MIDI track, I'll add the Vocaloid 5 editor VST. And similar to before, I'll start off with a media library phrase. I'll choose chopped. And I want to use this phrase, although this key says A minor, and this song's in the key of B minor. So I'll simply transpose this to B minor. And I'll drag this into the editor. The rhythm is kind of off, although the notes and timbre of the sound are working. So I'll double click on this phrase and edit the notes. I know I like the sound of this last note. The other ones, I'm not sure, but this last one is really nice. So I'll delete the other ones and drag this last one over to a new place. I'll add one more note in there. And I'll move the notes up a bit. All right, and now here's or I'll do some individual note editing. I'll adjust the attack and release of each note. So on this first note, I'll add a decrescendo to the end of the note. So it fades out quickly and softly. And then on the higher note, this already has a release effect on there that I like. So I'll simply add a new attack effect. And I'll add Inca. 
I like this one. This will add a nice pitch movement up to the note. And I could actually make the release a bit more intense by dragging the style up. That works for me, and this sounds really good. So I'll add a new part in there too. I'll simply copy and paste this part over and edit this new one farther. I'll keep the notes the same on this part, although I'll reverse the placement so the note is high and then the second note is low. So the first note is high and then the second note is low. I'll extend the second note out a bit. All right, we're getting there. Now, I want to edit the style, which is essentially the tone of the voice. So rather than working on each note separately, I'll highlight both these parts, secondary click, and choose join Vocaloid parts. This will combine both parts into a single phrase or a single part. And you can see all the notes are within a single part now. I can still adjust these notes separately on their own. For example, I'll pitch up the second group up an octave. This one may sound really good, pitched up higher, so I'll try that. It does. Nice. Now I'll adjust the style of this voice. I'll choose the style tab, choose customize, and I have access to edit all of these parameters. I'll start with air and breathness. I'll add a bit more wetness to the reverb. I'll bring the reverb decay down a bit. And now I'll record this into my DAW, just like before. I'll create an audio track in my DAW, route the audio from the Vocaloid 5 editor track, and then record the audio as if I'm recording an actual singer. <laughs> All right, and just like before, I can edit this and slice it up however I'd like. I can add some additional edits, like simply dropping the pitch down an octave on the first vocal phrase. That sounds awesome. So here we are with my computer and my computer only. Created this voice. This Vocaloid 5 project file is available for free download on the official Vocaloid website. Head over there to pick up your download and learn everything you need about Vocaloid 5.